Hey guys, one cool Minecrafter here, and welcome to another Minecraft video, or more of an install video. But today I'm going to show you how to install the Darkness mod, which is a mod I made by request of Shelby Productions. Now, I am in fact using Screencast Omatic because, well, let me just say, my screen recorder, which is Fraps, does not capture in browser. So I just have to use this. I don't know how good. I don't know how good it's going to be. Never used it before, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is I'll have both these pages links in the description. You need this Minecraft Forge page up. You'll need this my, uh, Minecraft Forums page up with the mod on it. What you're going to do is that you're going to go down once you get here and you're going to, we'll jump right into it. We're going to go to how to install. Ignore all this text, but you're going to click this blue link, or sorry, Never mind the blue link. Forget the blue link. We're actually going to follow. I can see Shelby here. Sorry, Shelby, if you're watching, I can see why you got confused because this topic is out of date. But anyway, so if you're, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to follow this link to the 1.6.2 version of Forge, and you're going to you're going to click the installer. You can do AdFly if you want to support them, but for time's sake, I'm going to do the direct. Now, if you can see my downloads here, we're going to show in folder. Oh, sorry. I can barely see over that uh, screencast o -matic thing. Essentially, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, if it gives you this message, you're going to want to keep, you're going to want to press keep. All right? And I've already done a test one of these. You're going to go show in folder. You're going to press and what you're gonna okay just keep this open in your folder now you're gonna press the start button at least if you're on windows and you can't see this down here because it's gonna cut it off just press the start button the window start button and you're gonna type percent app data percent no spaces no capitals roaming I'm gonna go into your dot minecraft now I already created a new folder but I suggest you create a new folder or you could just install it here so I created one it was called Minecraft Forge Tutorial, right there. So what you're going to do is, ne once you've created that new folder, we can just close this up, minimize all this. You're going to go to Minecraft, just run Minecraft. Wait for it, it took a while to load. Anyway, so you're going to press new profile, name it whatever you want, however the, the required things is that it has to be Minecraft Forge Tutorial, the name after Minecraft, slash, oh, never mind, Minecraft, the tutorial after dot Minecraft has to match the name of uh, where your folder is, or you could just do it in the in the Minecraft one, however I suggest not because it could corrupt your worlds. Uh, depending on the mods you use, mine probably not, but other ones. This is more of a general kind of thing, and you're going to use 1.6.2, whatever version your mod is. You're going to press play. It's going to load up. Wait for it. And once it's there, make sure you have no worlds. Alright, cool. You're going to hit quit game. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your downloads. You are going to right click the Minecraft Forge installer, open with Java Platform CE Binary. So you're going to open it with Java. Essentially you're running it like an exe file. Now what you're going to do is you could just hit OK if you're keeping it, but wherever your folder is you're going to click these three little dots, which I am going to go to .minecraft. This is not a required step. You don't have to create a new folder just for Forge, although I suggest it. You're going to go to Minecraft Forge Tutorial or whatever I was. We're going to open this. Directory is missing launcher profile. Alright, uh, you might not have that problem, but I'll sort that out later. I'm just going to use my normal Minecraft Forge 
Wait, hold on. I'll be back when I figure this out. Alright, so I figured it out. You just need to create a new world. It doesn't matter what kind of thing you do. You just need to make a new world. Uh, just, you know, create a new world and play. Play that world. This is in the profile you just created for the forge. You won't have to do this if you're using uh, your normal jar. So once again, open with Java. Not the most professional uh, tutorial, but it works. Dot Minecraft, Minecraft Forge tutorial. I'm just gonna hit OK. Uh, you know what? Hold on, I'm just gonna use, no, I want to open it with Java. I'm not gonna worry about that. If you have that problem, uh, give me the specifics and I'll try it. I'm just gonna hit OK for now. Wait for it to download. You should get this message. Now what you're gonna do, you should have installed that. You're gonna go to percent app data percent. I'm going to go to roaming. Dot Minecraft. Then you're going to find a new folder. If it's not there, just make one called mods. Click this. Now you shouldn't see all of these mods in here. Uh, you should not see all of the mods in here. But uh, if you do, sorry, not if you do. You shouldn't. I've been installing stuff. I I don't know where I was going with that. But for now, what I'm going to do is wait. Wow, I have, I screwed up big time there. I'm you're gonna go back to the darkness mod post. Downloads, and you're going to choose the 2.0 option in the second list. For some reason, my text got all screwed up. It's going to bring you just to a media fire page. I don't use AdFly. Just wait for it. Alright, here we are. Just going to hit the download button. Once again. Oh, wrong one. No! Balls. Okay. Once again, show in folder. Not open with. Alright, so you're just going to take this. You're going to open up your mods folder. And all you're going to do is drag this in there. So, now you have successfully installed it. To test it, all we're going to do is close this. Keep this minimized in case you need to do something. Close that. We're going to play Minecraft. Wait for it to load. Alright. Why do I have a launcher open? I do. Alright. Anyway, so you're going to choose your normal profile that you've been using all this time. Except for this time, you're going to hit Edit Profile. You're going to choose... Forge 1.6.2. That right there. You should see it. We're going to save the profile. We're going to play. And I'll hope it doesn't crash my game because I have 1.6.4 mods. Probably just won't install them. Anyway, you should see that little message pop up as normal. That is just because of one thing. That's just because of my fault. I will be back and to prove to you this, that this works. Alright, we're back. All I did was remove my mods from my mods folder, my 1.6.4 mods. So this shouldn't happen to you because you're only using the darkness mod for 1.6.2. So don't worry about that. That's just my fault because I didn't remove the 1.6.4 mods for a 1.6.2 forge. And I'm probably confusing a lot of people here. Anyway, so the game's going to load up. Wait for it. Yep, drum roll. Sorry, I get distracted easily. Once again, not the most professional tutorial. So how you tell if Forge is installed correctly is if you see this Mods button. How you know if the mod is installed correctly, if you click Mods, there's Mod Darkness. Anyway, so single player. 
Wait for it. I have a lot of worlds. Da, 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 na, na, na. It didn't crash, don't worry. You can honestly, if you see that, you don't have to watch the rest of it, so I'm just proving that it works. I mean, once again, not the most professional tutorial, but you should get the idea, and this is mainly just for uh, Shelby Productions. I might just make it private and only share it with him, if you want to know the truth. Probably not. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, so I'm just going to create a random new world. Make it super flat. I'm just proving to everybody that this does work. That's all I'm doing, because I know a lot of people are skeptical out there. Loading world. Building terrain. Alright, and we're in the world. Just to prove that this works, open up my inventory here. If we scroll all the way down, there is the stuff. Yeah. And I'll be hit by lag because Screencast O Matic is not meant for in game recording. Anyway, guys, so thank you all for watching. My name is One Cool Minecrafter. Signing out, and goodbye.